Hey, hey, today is Monday, January the 16th, and it's great to see you again. Hey, at Redeemer, we've been diving into Genesis, this pivotal book, this foundational book, which teaches us about God and God creating everything. And without God creating, there is no life. Without God sustaining, um, there is, there's no earth, there's no universe, there's no you, there's no me. Genesis talks about the very first humans. And when you read Genesis, sometimes people read it and they wonder, did all this stuff really happen? You know, Noah and the entire earth being flooded. How did God do that? You know, you, you look at the world and the entire earth being flooded. How, how did that happen? And the Garden of Eden, did that really happen as well? And was there really an Adam and an Eve? Am I meant to understand this as real history? Now, growing up, I always understood it as real history. I read the Bible and I, I just took it at face value. The, the Bible says, you know, Adam and Eve are the very first human beings. Why should I ever doubt that? But I remember the first time I was ever fully challenged on this, and believe it or not, it happened in seminary of all places, where one of my seminary professors was of the mindset that Genesis and Noah and Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden were not real. Rather, they were myths. They were stories meant to teach us more about God. And the lessons that they teach us are real. They're true. They tell us about God, but they are never meant to be taken as real life history. I think this professor took this viewpoint because you know, they, they had a hard time reconciling, you know, the age of the earth and reconciling how could God possibly flood the entire earth in Noah's day and age. And so they, they had this viewpoint that early Genesis, most of what we read, and you know, the first six chapters or so in Genesis is more myth than real history. Now there's a problem with this. The problem is when you read the entire Bible, you get to the New Testament, the people in the New Testament certainly seem to imply and believe that Genesis and everything that we read in the, the Old Testament is real. It's not a myth. It's not some type of fabrication, but this really happened. For instance, the Apostle Paul in verse, both 1 Timothy as well as Romans certainly seems to imply and tell us that when we read about um, Adam and Eve, that this was real life stuff. But it's not only the Apostle Paul, I think of Jesus Christ. Multiple times in his ministry, when he talks about the Old Testament, he speaks of Noah, and Jesus seems to fully confirm that, that Noah was real, and God really did flood the earth. But not only that, um, that Adam and Eve were indeed the first two human beings. Jesus talks about um, how God takes man and woman and unites them as one. And when I read about Jesus talking about this, my faith is confirmed that Adam and Eve, the Garden of Eden, is real stuff. And when I read this, um, I just marvel at God creating these very first human beings. Now, getting back to the Garden of Eden, when God creates mankind in his own image— Believe it or not, the very first chapter in all of the Bible, Genesis 1, we know that God the Father is there, but did you know that Jesus is also there? Genesis 1, 1, yes. Um, Genesis 1, even before we get to the New Testament, we have Jesus making an appearance and also the Holy Spirit. There's one verse in Genesis 1 that I'm sure you've heard before, maybe you've even read it before, and you may have missed Jesus in it. So let me reread it for you right now. Genesis 1, verse 26. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the wild animals of the earth. And you may be saying to yourself, I didn't hear anything about Jesus. I didn't hear anything about the, the Holy Spirit there. I heard about God, but listen more carefully. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image. Who's God talking to? 
in this Genesis 1, 26, well, he's, he's speaking to the Son. He's speaking to Jesus well before Jesus would come down in Bethlehem. He's also speaking to the Holy Spirit, this gift, the advocate whom the Father will one day send upon the earth. But from the very beginning, you have the triune God creating, sustaining, giving life to Adam, giving life to Eve, uh, form, formatting the world um, to, to bring God glory. Adam and Eve, the Garden of Eden, it is real. Uh, let us learn from it. Let us rejoice that God created, that God created you to bring him glory. May you do that today. Um, you bring God glory. Um, we praise God that he's given us this day. May you be blessed. I hope that you're healthy. I hope you're well. I hope to see you again next week uh, for this weekly devotion. Amen.